It's game day, and I've been playing my heart out. It's the third period, the score is zero to zero, and needless to say, tension is running high. Chuck is playing better than ever. He stopped all eight of my goal attempts, and I'm starting to get desperate. My flyers fit like a dream, but it's going to take more than new skates to win this game. My team is exhausted, and everyone is on edge. I have to do something. And then, when there's only 10 seconds left in the game, I see my chance. I tear off down the ice, watching as the wayward puck smacks against the siding. Pumping my legs, I reach it before anyone else can and take off like a rocket towards Chuck. I see him brace himself. He thinks I'm going to go for my usual shot. I smile to myself and think of something I've been keeping secret. Chuck may know all about my right hook shot, but he knows nothing about my left. Five seconds, four, I suck in a ragged breath, fight against the urge to close my eyes and hit that puck as hard as I can. I watch him soar across the goal to reach it, but red lights start flashing. The sound of the siren is like music to my ears. Goal, the Royals win the championship. My team swarms me, and I'm swept into the air. I can't contain my laughter as pure joy floods me with adrenaline. We won! We won! The crowd is thunderous. They're all bowing and chanting, Ice Queen, Ice Queen. I drink it in like a starving man. But then I jolt, and I feel a small twinge of guilt. I managed to look over at Chuck. He's still standing by the goal, his face unreadable. I breathe heavy, sweat dripping down my face, and meet his eyes. We stare at each other for a second, and then he bows his head and smiles. I smile back before looking away, and then the trophy is thrust into my hand. I hold it high in the air and celebrate with my team. Later, after taking off my skates, I go to meet my dad. You were incredible, sweetie. I've never been so proud in all my life. My dad holds me in his arms, and I squeeze him to me. Thanks, Dad. I couldn't have done this without you. He beams at me and puts his hands on my shoulders. You did this, Sarah. It was all you. I smile blinking away a few tears. Now come on, we're going out to dinner to celebrate. Your choice. I'm about to respond, but then I catch sight of someone over his shoulder. Uh, definitely, just give me a minute. I'll meet you by the car. He nods, then heads off, and I slowly walk toward the stands. Chuck is there, alone, packing up his things. You played a great game. His head snaps up. As expected, he looks defeated, but there's a small light in his eyes. You did too. Left hook, huh? I shrug with a smile. Been saving that one. Smart. Didn't see it coming. Speaking of things he won't see coming, I decide to just blurt out my next sentence. Do you want to come out to dinner with my dad and me? He looks up at me. Huh? I promise I won't brag. Well, not too much anyway. My dad usually goes home after dinner. He works the night shift. So maybe we could hang out afterward, too? Play some NHL if you want. His face is blank for a second. But then his lips quirk up in a smirk. Are you asking me out on a date? My face goes pale. No! I, I mean... I'd love to. My shoulders sag. Yeah? Yeah. He slings his bag over his shoulder, but then stops short. Oh, before I forget, I talked to a couple of scouts this morning. I give him a huge smile. That's amazing! Congrats! Not just about me, but about you too. Apparently there's a girls hockey team starting this year in Boston. It's minor leagues, but I think it sounds cool. She's going to call you. I hope that's okay. I'm stunned absolutely stunned. There is 
she is? In Boston? He nods. Boston is a cool city. I'm probably going to sign with the Bruins and... I leap toward him and smash my lips to his. It takes him a moment to recover, but then he kisses me back. It's hot, fast, and passionate. And if I wasn't so excited, I'd probably never let him go. But I pull back with a huge grin. You did that for me? Thank you! He looks a bit glassy-eyed, and he has to clear his throat before he nods. <clears throat> Happy I could help. I hop up and down with excitement, then grab his hands. Come on, we have to tell my dad. And oh my god, the Bruins, Chuck? Congratulations. He's smiling ear to ear, and so am I. We leave the arena, hand in hand. Well, until I have to let go. To grab my trophy.